Hi, good morning. Uh, so today I will uh, touch upon a very important topic within from the first chapter of uh, business studies, uh, part one. So, uh, this topic is uh, effectiveness and efficiency. Now, uh, let's take an example. Let's, you know, we, you guys are all uh, studying in a school. So mostly this, there's a concept of homework and classwork. And, uh, you know, when a teacher is giving you homework, which is to be submitted by a particular date. So if, are you able to do it? One. Secondly, are you able to uh, do it with minimum pain? So these are two aspects. So one is the teacher is giving you homework and that homework needs to be submitted by a, a particular deadline. So are you able to finish that homework within that deadline? And are you able to finish that homework with minimum pain? So what it means is let's say that the deadline is after three days and you two days have already passed and you have not come yet even started with the homework. So what do you do is use uh, sit in the night you know spend three hours uh, uh, keep yourself awake for extra three or four hours complete your homework and then submit it right so that means there was although for two days you could not do it due to some reason but you submitted that homework by the, the desired deadline however uh, you had to put in a lot of extra effort because there was only one day left so there was a bit of pain involved in it so that is basically it tells about your uh, ability to finish a particular task within a given deadline. So this, you know, uh, action reflects effectiveness. So what is effectiveness? Effectiveness is the ability to complete a particular task within a given deadline. Okay. <coughs> Second point. Now we'll talk about efficiency. So efficiency is what? Efficiency is that when you minimize the level of uh, pain. So, which means let's say now you did this, the homework was given to you and you completed this homework uh, by uh, distributing small, small work over a period of time. So like if after three days it was to be submitted, so you equally divided this uh, quantum of homework in three days and every day at a slow pace, but with comfort, you were able to complete and submit it on time. So here the, your level of pain was less. Now from the context of business, efficiency is the ability to finish a particular task while minimizing your cost. So here in case of business, the pain is equivalent to cost. So now let's take an example of, you understand? So now we'll take an example of uh, a business. Let's say there is a firm and the firm has an yearly target to produce uh, 10,000 units. Now, due to some reason, uh, X, Y, Z reason, maybe the, there were some unrest in the economy or there was a lockdown. Uh, the firm was not able to, uh, you know, the firm is lagging behind in achieving, achieving its uh, annual target of 10,000 units. So the, the already the firm has uh, produced, although the firm has produced 5,000 units, uh, 10 months have already passed. Now there are only two months left. Now two months are left and the firm is supposed to, uh, you know, uh, achieve the target of 10,000 units and 5,000 5, units it has already produced, 5,000 more units it needs to produce. Okay. In this context, what it will do is, the firm will do is, the firm will run double shifts, one, it will hire more people so that uh, it can achieve its annual target. Second, thirdly, it will incur more cost. But at the end of the year, the firm managed to produce 10,000 units. So what it means is that the firm has achieved its yearly target, but it has achieved it at a high cost. So there was an element of pain in the firm while achieving the firm's target. So this is effectiveness. The firm is effective, but not efficient. Okay. So the, because if it, why it was not efficient, because it, uh, you know, incurred higher cost and because of the higher cost of production, there was an element of pain involved. All right. Let's take 
uh, example of efficiency. In case of efficiency, uh, the firm has an yearly target of 10,000 units and the firm has to achieve, uh, is focusing on minimizing its cost of production also. So what the firm did was that it understood during lockdown that uh, somehow this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, this is going to have an impact on its production level, production target. So what it did was it signed contracts with temporary labor much before uh, the lockdown opened. So by signing this contract, the firm because there was a lot of unemployment so the labor was easily available and they were willing to sign a contract and gain some surety about their future so the firm negotiated with them and was able to reduce its cost they signed the contract gave them an employment offer at a very low wage okay <coughs> so what has happened is in, in this case is that the firm has signed the contract so the moment lockdown opened the firm hired all these labor and started producing goods at a high rate. The firm already stocked up a lot of raw material during lockdown, right? At a very low cost because the sales were in any case going down. Uh, the overall economy was already down. So the firm was able to make use of this uh, situation uh, because the materials, the cost of materials will come down. And as a result, the firm uh, procured the raw materials at a very low cost and kept a stock of it so when the lockdown got opened the uh, the firm used the cheap uh, used cheap raw materials uh, got uh, access to cheap labor and uh, produced goods at a very high rate and achieved the target of 10000 units uh, within the time frame and also was able to minimize its cost of production <laughs> now this is what is being uh, effective and efficient so this is efficiency and uh, this is an example of efficiency also and in this case the firm is effective also because the firm achieved the target within the given timeline and the firm was efficient also right there could be situations where a firm may be effective and not efficient there could be times where the firm may be efficient but not effective so these are the things which we must focus on also being effective means that you are achieving uh, the target of production so that you can meet market demand even though the cost is high so that is being effective whereas being efficient means that you are minimizing your cost right and you, maybe you may not being efficient and not effective that you are minimizing the cost but you are missing out on the yearly target of production yearly production target so you will miss out on the market demand so that is being efficient but not effective and being efficient as well as effective is the example which i gave just bef before these two terms so this is a very important concept in the first chapter of business studies which uh, the students at times fail to understand uh, please uh, i hope you've liked it uh, you know the, the way i explained uh, please keep watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. All the best for your studies.